Just five minutes after midnight, a motel security camera caught an explosion on the South Freeway off-ramp to Seminary Drive. Witnesses watched smoke from the car crash fill the early morning sky. I can only imagine that it was a very traumatic scene. Officer Daniel Segura says the car was so burned, investigators could not initially tell how old the victims inside were. The ambulance crew says there were three adults and two children, but it's not yet clear if they were related. Five people uh, that were probably on their way home, and because we have a uh, irresponsible driver causing this pain and suffering. Police have charged the driver, 19-year-old Eduardo Gonzalez, with five counts of intoxication manslaughter and a DWI. They say he was speeding in his Camaro and rear-ended the sedan. Segura says police found, quote, clues in Gonzalez's car that indicate he'd been drinking. That is hard to see and attend these calls when we, as police department, do the best we can to promote safety. Police are still trying to figure out where Gonzalez had been and how a teenager not old enough to buy alcohol got too drunk to drive. This crash happened about three miles from the scene where a drunk driver hit and killed Fort Worth police officer Billy Randolph on 35W last Monday. And today we are celebrating a man who laid down his life for friends, for family, and for a city. Randolph's funeral was Saturday. Police called each case a tragic example of drunk driving's risk and begged friends to hold each other accountable after a night out. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston.